You know that feeling you get when you've known something for a long time and then someone else suddenly realizes the depth of and the weight of what you know? That's just happened as a mayor of San Jose, California has resigned from an FCC panel because he says it's in the pocket of big telecoms and it's corrupt and it's not working for the interest of the people. No kidding. So those of us who've been following net neutrality for a while have been looking at one figure in particular, and that's Ajit Pai. He is the head of the FCC, and he is also a former Verizon lawyer and someone who has clearly put corporate interests, big telecom interests, ahead of what should be his job, which is making sure things are okay for the people. Uh, we've seen a lot of lashing back, especially from a very, my very favorite member of the FCC, Mignon Clyburn, who uh, did talk about this as well. But the mayor of San Jose, California uh, left the FCC panel that was supposed to be crafting policies that would help certain areas of the country get access, get connection to the internet that they hadn't had before and to make things fair for the people. This mayor was trying to serve the people and he found that this panel was totally working the opposite way. He wrote his resignation letter, which read, I joined the Broadband Development Advisory Committee or cognizant that the composition of the panel heavily favored the industry with more than three quarters of the membership representing telecommunications companies or interests closely aligned with those companies. I'd hope that through our work, we'd be able to engage in constructive dialogue with the industry about how to bridge the digital divide, which you identified as your quote, top priority at yesterday meeting. However, after nine months of deliberation, negotiation and discussion, we've made no progress toward a single proposal that will actually further the goal of equitable broadband deployment. Although we've adopted principles that pay lip service to that objective, not a single one of the draft recommendations attempts to meaningfully identify any new significant resources to promote digital inclusion. And he talked also about being in certain groups that didn't include a single municipal representative. So that it included instead an executive in the telecom industry, someone who is clearly working toward a goal of making themselves and their colleagues more money, not serving the damn people, which is, it should be the point of the FCC and it's not there and it's maddening. And it looks like he did make a very good faith effort to try to bridge the divide, to try and work with people and use debate and discussion in order to make his point more understandable. And it just completely did not work. And I think to a lot of us, the thought is there that of course it didn't work. Of course they are working in their own interest. This is completely for monetary profit. It's not to serve anyone. It's not to make connections better for anyone who doesn't have service. It's to, I mean, ostensibly what they did was they focused on areas that already had service to put in more expensive service. They do not care about helping people. They only care about helping their bottom line. And this was made clear, especially uh, to the mayor in here. So back in August, the Center for Public Integrity reported local government officials had been largely frozen out, cut out of the Broadband Development Advisory Committee. And the goal, it, it, it's just so contrary to the goals. And this is something that's been prevalent. And I'm glad that it's coming out more and being more well known that this level of corruption is there, but it is there. And as this mayor has shown, it has no intention of quitting. There was an FCC statement released in response to this and it was credited to Ajit Pai. I want you to notice how it does not refute a single one of the mayor's claims. The Broadband Development Advisory Committee and its working groups have brought together 101 participants from a range of perspectives to recommend strategies to promote better, faster and cheaper broadband. Bridging the digital divide continues to be my top priority and I look forward to continuing to work with the BDAC and many others to remove regulatory barriers to broadband deployment and extend digital opportunity to all Americans. Yeah, but are you, it doesn't refute what he said about this just being packed, loaded with industry insiders, with industry executives looking to make money. It just says, we're gonna, I guess, you know, there's people, those people have goals, they could. I mean, sure, we all could, but I could also jump over a fence at a zoo and run into the elephant cage. I shouldn't, but it's just, I won't, <laughs> it, but it's there. It, it's, it's, it's a logical fallacy. He, 
I mean, what we're not going to see a very big difference to the way he's been going because Ajit Pai, one of his most infuriating traits on top of his Muppet face, on top of his inability to connect with people in any kind of believable way, any facsimile to a human being, is that he does not care what we have to say. There were so many comments posted against the repeal of Title II regulations and he didn't care and there were so many fake comments left in favor of dismantling net neutrality that were clearly not real, made from dead people or President Barack Obama, which that should be stricken. And they didn't care, they don't care what we think. They're just going to keep robbing us of our ability to have a free and open internet and basically making it a playground for their corporate overlords. And it's, it's not right, it's happening. We can keep trying to fight back, eventually, Something's got to give. Someone's got to get voted out. Uh, Mignon Clyburn did retweet her disappointment in the industry's response. Industry dominated at FCC, hashtag BDAC disregarded the views of localities, including San Jose Mayor. Broadband deployment efforts must be a partnership between localities and the private sector. And, you know, Pi doesn't care. He, remember when someone in, joked that he was a Manchurian candidate for Verizon, that the, he would do whatever they said, and he was a puppet. He just went, ha ha, yeah, wouldn't that be funny? That's exactly what it is. Audience, <laughs> I don't know what to ask you. This sucks, let's discuss it. Please leave those below and like and subscribe for more.